So yeah, I don't know. The jury is out on night. We're sitting there like, ooh! You're the coffee that I need in the morning. You're my sunshine in the rain when it's coming. Won't you give yourself to me? Give it all. my channel it's chanel if you're new here welcome it's like a good vibes good travel good eats and of course love good fashion so go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the family um so obviously by the title i am taking you guys on a like day or night of work with me i am a nurse i am a new graduate nurse actually i'm fairly new um I've been working for about five months now, um, and I work in a pediatric ICU in New York City, and I literally, absolutely, I'm sorry, like, these potholes, obviously in New York, are insane. <laughs> But I love everything about my job. Um, I love what I do. I love working with the kiddos. And I'm finally like almost done with orientation. So I'm not exactly sure if like all hospitals do this. I'm pretty sure as a new graduate, you have to go through some type of um, like orienting period where you follow around a more seasoned nurse and they just train you and teach you how to do your job basically. But with my job I'm in a residency program for a year and on top of that I'm also um my my job they have you like orient for 16 to 18 weeks and your girl is finishing up her 13th week so freaking excited about that because I feel really confident now I feel really good in the beginning it was a little bit shaky um and I was like it was hard for me to grasp some things, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just because I would get nervous, obviously, because this is a life that I'm taking, and I'm in the ICU. So it was just like very daunting to me, like all of the Alaris pumps and all the different medications I had to hang and like drawing blood, doing this, doing that. Like we do a lot in the ICU. So I literally, um, I'm feeling so confident and so good about my job nowadays and I have started night shifts so I was hired as a like night owl a night nurse um that's typically new graduates are night shifters um because day shift is by seniority but I literally spent like the first 12 and a half weeks on day shift with my preceptor this is my first week on night shift and this is literally my third night shift so I did work two days prior earlier this week um literally the beginning like clips and stuff uh that was like earlier this week that's why like my hair is different my scrubs are different um that's because of that but the beginning of orientation is just a lot of like powerpoints and like classroom stuff and just like education things like i'm back in school i had to take like one test i had to take like an ekg test in the beginning but other than that um it was just like a lot of classroom things so it really wasn't much to record because i couldn't like actually bring you guys along for those things 
but and then when I was with my precept in the first couple of weeks obviously I needed a lot of help I was really like shadowing for real more so than doing stuff so again what am I recording and then I was also just trying to learn my job so I just feel like now I'm in a more comfortable space I'm in a good place and yeah I think I could bring you guys along let's hope that it's a good night no not let's hope it will be a great night I feel like I always have to start my day super positive because child it could get hectic like it gets so crazy so let's just hope it's a really good night but Honestly speaking, I am starting to act, like really love night shift more than day shift. Day shift is just super busy in a sense of there's like managers and stuff around a lot. So that kind of makes people kind of, I feel like, have a stick up their butt. <laughs> and then also on day shift, you're getting a lot of ED transfers, you're getting a lot of surgeries, you're getting this, you're getting that. Like typically on nights, um, we do get some people from like the OR, but it's not as like crazy as it is like during the day They're busting out surgeries during the day at nighttime If you're getting somebody that nighttime the surgery was just really really long because they're not gonna start a surgery super late, right? so I just feel like nights is more like settling keeping your patients cool and just like, you know chilling so we're gonna put that out there that we're gonna have a chilling night and i'm gonna take you guys and show you guys literally my night so yeah if you want to actually be doing stuff have a little bit of action icu is definitely the spot and i love icu because my patient cap is literally two patients if it's really crazy and we really are like short staffed that day then it will be i will be tripled but honestly in the past how many weeks is this 13 in the past 13 weeks me and my preceptor has only been tripled one time typically i'm on a one-to-one -one with an intubated patient because a lot of times the patients on my floor they are orally nasally trachly <laughs> intubated um or I just have two patients, which I absolutely love because like the ED, you get a lot of action, but your patient load is probably crazy. Like I think one of my friends, she was telling me she had like 16 patients. And I'm just like, girl, what? But we do do like different things. So maybe it's not too, too bad, like trying to juggle that many patients. But I'm just thinking, I see why it's like, they want labs, they want to hang this med, that med, do this, do this, do this, do this. Um, we got to like make sure you know they're not pulling out their thing they're like heavily sedated um like it's a lot of things going on so sometimes i just can't imagine having like more than two patients honestly or like five ten fifteen patients that's insane so we in the city y'all i'm gonna stop chatting our heads off but we're going to work who is so excited to go to work but me? <laughs> Shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they would buy. Whoa, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Hey. Full S13, stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it take The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the neck is a frame Her, whoa, whoa, whoa Yeah, let's have sex in the nines, do it Breaking and bending the spines, do it I hate a privileged rapper that they had to hit six times, do it Niggas be full of excuses, that lady taking their time Whoa, whoa, whoa Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the times that I had to go slide. Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by. 
Too many states. Why was that your ops and none of them died? Pussy. Hold up. Hold up. Turn on. Hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? But texting emojis till I got eggplant busting went over her head. Catching my side of the skills. Okie dokie, it's 2.13 to be exact. I am taking a lunch break, or late break, dinner break. Um, and I ordered a panini from this place that's 24 hours across the street. So we're gonna look at that. Another Celsius girl, because I am tired. Um, Round floor. Yeah. So, should be pretty quick and easy, so. Let's go grab this panini. So yeah, I'm having a super chill night so far. Um, I have two patients and this one little boy, he is just the most adorable little thing ever. Um, and yeah, so the place I'm going to is called Bread and Butter. Go inside the break room. We have a break room upstairs. I'm gonna go inside the break room and eat my panini and try to take like a good 30 minute nap. Um, Cause yeah, I did not sleep at all today. Like I think I slept for like two hours before I had to come in. Um, and I just slept like regular at night. I was supposed to sleep during the day and I didn't get to sleep too much, so yeah, about to go back in and get the rest of the night over with, but we're almost there. We are almost there. Say she hungry, I gave a dick for bunch. Send me my whole feet, I don't do back ends and flanks. No, 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 that's that sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines, do it. Breaking and bending the spines, do it. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since his signs, do it. Niggas be full of excuses, that like they taking their time. Energy is so low, obviously. Uh, it is 7:32. We survived the night and we are heading home. We are heading home. Um, I mean, just like that, the night is done. I feel like my shifts go by very quickly is one thing I can definitely say. I never feel like my shifts are like really that long. Um, I think the only thing is with the night shift, I'm typically fine. Oop, I promise you these folks are so bumpy. But yeah, night shifts, um, I feel like I'm typically fine and then three o'clock hits and I like wanna tape my eyelids open, so. That's really the only thing, like, I mean, I'm super tired. I really didn't get much sleep. Um, as y'all saw, I had, like, a Celsius. Um, I bought another one for lunch, but I didn't end up drinking it. I just, like, chilled on the two that I had for the day, for the night. Um, and yeah, the city is so beautiful. I didn't even get to show you guys, um, like, the night views. I was kind of like, 
I wouldn't fully say busy, but like, again, I just feel like it's hard to um, record and capture a lot of things when like other people are around. But that's just how I feel about vlogging in general. But um, yeah, we're heading home and I'm going to literally crawl into a ball and fall asleep. It was a good shift, a little shift reflection. Um, really good shift. I got to see how to deal with um, a new VAD shunt, which is basically just like a shunt in the head, like a VP shunt in the head. Um, and I got to measure ICP and just like do that. I've never really done that before. So that was really cool. Um, it's actually like relatively easy, but um, that's something like new that I learned that I dealt with. So yeah, I dealt with um, ICP and a B patient today. Um, my other patient, he was, I mean, he's just here. He was just in the ICU for like virus and like management and he just looked like really bad and um, kind of like AKI-ish. So um, it was just like observation he slept but i just had to make sure he was satting fine and he was breathing okay he's like super junky so he did like desat and his oxygen went down for a little bit um just had to give him a good suction and pounding on the chest and get that junk up basically um but yeah other than that he like was chilling throughout the night um so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. your girl is tired, obviously. Um, I'm gonna check in with you guys later. Hey, what is up guys? Um, it has been multiple, multiple, multiple days later. Um, it's actually June 2nd now, um, and it's about to be 1 p.m., which is crazy. I need to get going because I have an appointment this afternoon, but I wanted to take you guys along with me for the rest of the week. Well, really it's just today and maybe tomorrow um, when I like get ready for work. Um, because, okay, wait, backtrack. So I want to think that the last time that I picked up the camera was when I worked Memorial night like that night i think that was when oh car wash that's what we're going to do i'm here talking and totally forgot i was going to the car wash um yeah so i think the last time i picked up the f camera let to say the phone was when i was going my hair looks so crazy memorial weekend oh memorial day i worked no, I didn't work the day. I worked the Saturday. Wow, it's been like a week since the last time I vlogged. Yeah, a week. So, I worked this past week. I worked, um, I got to do my third shift tomorrow. Saturday night is my third shift for the week. And, um, child, I was so tired after my second shift. Like, literally peeling my eyes open. I was so tired. Like, it was so bad. So freaking bad. So I had no energy. Um, I was off yesterday, which was Thursday, um, and now off today. I literally slept all day Thursday. I got up at like 7 p.m. and went back to sleep at like 9. Like, I was so drained. Um, I literally had no energy for anything. So, um, yeah. Even today, I got out of the bed super late, but I was like in a little bit of a funk, I'm not gonna lie. So I was just like wanting to stay in bed and be in a funk, but it's like 89 degrees outside um, in New York. And so, hello, I should be outside. I should be living my best life. Um, and so I have some errands to run and I'm gonna run them. And I have my best friend with me. Hi, Papa. No, you cannot get in my lap. Oh my gosh. That wasn't an invitation to get in my car. I'm getting soaked. That literally caught me off guard. Oh gosh. So I desperately needed my car washed. 
I honestly hate all of the car washes in my area. They just suck. Like every time my car is still dirty somehow, some way, but it's been like over a month since I last got a car wash. So it was beyond needed. So I'm going, um, getting this done and then I want to head to, I think I want to go towards Trader Joe's first because that's further out. Just pick up a few things um, that I need. But she looks so good. Jesus Christ, bro. I tell you to sit down. And maybe you won't be like flapping all over the um the car. The car wash is done. Um Jesus Christ, these roads are so rough. I feel like I say that to y'all every time I pick up this camera. But there's literally like no reason at all why I have to like tell them explicitly like what i need done while you're washing my car it's like you should know what to do right papa like but i have to tell you oh yeah like this spot isn't clean like they don't put enough like elbow grease into it and that's why i hate going to like hand car washes i like to go to the ones with the machines because the machine's gonna blow your car away like it's gonna really like put that power into it that it needs versus these hand ones they i just be feeling like they are so lazy which i mean don't get me wrong i understand imagine washing a million cars a day i would be lazy too but yeah yeah um now we're off to mr joe's uh i really don't plan to do too much or get too much to be honest um i'm gonna just go with the vibes <laughs> But I have, like, seriously fallen in love with Trader Joe's. Um, they have, like, the best hummus, hands down. Like, the absolute best hummus. So, I'm literally excited to just go get that. I'm going to look around and see what else I see. I may get some, like, some of those, like, heat-up meals or whatever. So, like, I have something for work tomorrow night. Um work let's talk about work so i don't know how i feel about nights my last night shift was like really tough like it was really 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 tough for me um and i got like six hours of sleep but i feel like the problem was i woke up too early like i woke up at like 2 50. i need to be leaving at my house by like six o'clock the latest to get to work for 7 p.m. We're sitting there like, ooh! <laughs> Trying my hardest not to fall asleep. So yeah, I don't know. The jury is out on nights. At first I was like, you know, nights is not that bad, blah, blah, blah. But like, it was kind of bad. <laughs> it was kind of bad. <laughs> Jesus, I was struggling. But yeah, y'all. I'm gonna go to Mr. Joe's, we're gonna pick up a couple things, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. vegetables and stuff so I really didn't need that I just needed a bunch of like quick stuff that I could bring to work to just eat so let's go through and see what we got I'm trying some new things um, but I did get some stuff that I already had before and I spent $62 which isn't bad because I got a good amount of stuff so let's see what we got um first and foremost i've heard a lot of things about these like little beef tacos so i really wanted to try these i think i was kind of rushed because basically they told me that like romeo couldn't be in the car and he's like 
he's so cute but child he is so bad so it's really hard to like do stuff with him because if i'm like holding him i don't want him to like go and randomly pee on something because that's what he would do so i was like having a tight leash on him and i just ended up picking him up because child he was trying to he was being bad like he was being bad so i didn't really fully get like the thing i was trying to rush and i just picked up things that i saw and i was like oh i'm gonna try it picked it up threw it in the cart and i was out of there in like 15 minutes tops in and out but yeah got the mini beef tacos i think what i really wanted to try was the um barilla tacos but i didn't like see it right off the bat of my eye i also wasn't like looking for it because like i said i was like pretty rushed but we're gonna try those um i got a carnitas with salsa verde burrito i just feel like this would be honestly perfect um to like take to work and just like have a quick little lunch i got chicken asada um like just this chicken asada thing with like peppers and stuff um and i feel like i already have i still have like rice i have like regular rice and i have like trader joe's rice so i could easily like make a quick little meal whip that up and that would be good um i love trader joe's yogurt so i got two of the mango apricot yogurts and i got oof, two of the vanilla bean non-fat yogurt i think this one is my favorite and what i do is i make a whole little like um granola yogurt thing because i have like a big bag from the last one with the trader joe's and i like mash it up and then i put it in like one of my little mason jars and i put two of these fits in one mason jar and then i sprinkle that on top and i like mix it all in and it's such a good snack um so yeah i really like this i like could eat this all night and not need to eat anything else so i got those two for work i got two chicken tikka masala now if you know trader joe's you know this is the goat really 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 freaking good so love that I got the loaded potatoes because I got this for the first time, the last one with the Trader Joe's, and it was so good. Like, you need to get you one of these. Ugh, what I went in there for was, it's called the three layer hummus, and it's traditional cilantro, jalapeno, and spicy. When I say this is like the best hummus, chop the best hummus i've ever had hands down i'm like obsessed i should have got two of them because like i could mess around and eat this entire jar in one setting that's how bad it is um i got milk and dark chocolate covered almonds uh i just thought it would be good to put into my yogurt um so we'll see but the like granola thing that i have it has like I think M&M's or something in it. So I don't really know why I got that. I was walking. You know those things by the end of the, the line in the aisle and you see and you're like, ooh, let me just grab it. That's basically what happened. So, and my battery is about to die. So I'm going to make this super quick. I just got some pico de gallo salsa. I'm obsessed and it'll go perfect with these two. And then also like a probably with the tacos, I'll eat it. Um... I got Southwest style chicken quesadillas. I wanted to try this. It looked really good. Um, and you know, they be a hit for a lot of stuff. I got some jalapeno sauce uh, just because why not? It looked good. And then I got some mini wontons like chicken cilantro pop stickers. I wanted the shrimp ones that I had before. But again, I couldn't find it quick enough and I was really trying to be in and out the store. So I got these. I'm sure they're gonna be just as good. And that's basically it. Um, my body's about to die. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit. But that's basically all that I got from Trader Joe's. Just like I said, a bunch of heat up microwavable things is what I needed to restock my freezer. Um, I have a lot of other stuff like already in my fridge. So yeah, y'all. I will check in in a little bit. So really quickly, 
this is it. This is basically how I do my hair super quickly for work to make it look cute. Um, and I love the half up, half down look. It's just like my absolute favorite. It's my favorite. So, yeah, I'm about to run out the door now and go to work. I want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate any kind of support that I get. So I just thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you really like this video, if you like these types of videos, then go ahead and subscribe to join the family. We are slowly but surely growing and I am so grateful for that. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys so much and I appreciate your support and I will catch you guys in my next video.